hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how you can design a heart rate monitor using max 30 100 pulse oximeter sensor and arduino nano 33 iot board in the previous video i have shown you that how you can design a simple heart rate monitor but the values of the heart rate was jumping around and they were not stable so in this tutorial i will show you how you can design a stable heart rate monitor so first let us see the code so first of all i have included max 3100 pulse oximeter and wire library then i have defined a sampling rate of 500 which is in milliseconds and then defined pulse oximeter as an object and we will be calling pulse oximeter as pox so i have initialized some variable here so to get an stable heart rate we are going to use averaging technique so number of readings will be the number of readings which we want to average out and then we will be doing a weighted average so this will give the weight to the current value and store the value while averaging then i have defined a variable that will store the time when the last report was generated last beat detected will store the time when the last beat was detected readings will store the number of readings collected and compare it with the number of readings for averaging so if this reading equals to number of readings so it will display the output average heart rate will store the value of heart rate while average spo2 will store the value of oxygen saturation heart rate and spo2 is initialized with zero as we do not want any garbage value at the start so i have defined some flag which will tell us about the code initialization and that values has been calculated here i have defined few functions as well this function is defined for initializing the display at the start so it will print that please put your finger on the sensor so, so the second function is defined for the beat detection so it will store the time when the beat was detected the third function is for displaying something on the screen when the user is waiting for the calculated heart rate and spo2 so this function will print print processing while we are calculating the values the output display function displays the output values on the screen so it will display heart rate with the unit of bpm and oxygen levels with the unit of percentage this function calculates the average we have put a check on the values of heart rate and spo2 we expect the heart rate to be in a range of 30 and 220 while spo2 should be greater than 50 this line of code will average the heart rate value and this line of code will average the spo2 value we will increment the reading so that he knows that how much num how many number of beats we have already calculated and when the number of readings is equal to the number of readings we want to average then it will terminate this loop and will display the output so let's initialize all, all the things so in the setup we have set the bar rate of 115-200 and then we have uh, start the sensi sensor we have called a function of 3100 library th that collect the signal and calculates heart rate and spo2 and gave us at the output uh, we will initiate the display at the start as well in the loop we will ask the sensor to get updated data this line of code is to make sure that the reading are taken within the defined sampling rate and then we call the calculate average function and of course we will save the new uh, report generated time in the last report generated to make sure that the finger is placed on the sensor if there is no beat detected for three seconds reset the average heart rate and spo2 and again display the screen asking the user to place the finger on the sensor so this is my code for detecting the heart rate with a stable output so let's upload this code to the board and check the output so let's connect the board i have already demonstrated how you can connect your board to the sensor if you haven't watched that video the link will be in the description so let's upload the code to the board and open the serial monitor after the code is uploaded place your finger on the sensor it displays processing 
and after every 5 seconds it will update the heart rate and pulse oxygen saturation levels. You can see that now it is giving me a stable output and when I remove my finger from the sensor after a few seconds it shows that please place your finger on the sensor and then when I place my finger on the sensor after a few seconds it will start reading So in this way you can design a heart rate monitor that provides stable reading at the output. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video as much as you can. Thank you.